Hello there, citizens of the Empire. I hope that all is well. I hope that our Imperial zeal has spared you some of the darkness of this world dominated by the Warsaw Pact. I hope that every time you see this flag, the fire of imperialism still burns within your hearts. Admittedly, it's 2010 and there isn't much left to this empire, but it, it still exists, kind of. Pray forgive our incompetence in recent decades, for at least we haven't failed as much as uh, America has. All you must do is wait whilst we rebuild, for soon those embers of a dead empire will catch fire once again. Then every single river will be named after the queen. It will be glorious, my friends. <laughs> So us here in the great city of London lead the British Isles Protection Union, protecting us from the red shores across the channel, not red with blood, but red with the hammers and, I don't know, trade unions of workers, yeah, huh? All these communists. This guy looks like he invented Microsoft or something, I, I don't know. Speaking of that, I believe Bill Gates can become the leader of America in this mod, but that's for, that's for another day, yeah. And we may no longer have an empire, but the one thing we do have is the Royal Navy, complete with its eight ships. Ah, I love, I love the Royal Navy, it's great. We have five submarines, a carrier, and two destroyers. Ah, marvelous. The Soviets don't even have eight ships, probably. That's <laughs> pathetic. And General Secretary Yazov is dead. The Great Trial is over. Well, it never really happened in this timeline, because this is a different timeline where Germany still lost World War II, but the Soviets won the Cold War, so yeah. We, we we're not getting that yet, Zov. At least we, we just had, I don't know, wholesome old communist Yazov, and now he's gone. Oh wait, oh wait, what's going on in Montana? The White Freedom Alliance? I think that's exactly what it sounds like, honestly. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's exactly what it sounds like. Oh no. And the Egyptian Syrian Union has broken apart, and hey, it's that one guy who has that theme song, you know? The and the Prime Minister has been assassinated. Well, this is quite the turn of events. And the Queen storms Parliament. She's looking to re-establish the absolute monarchy of the old days. And while well, me as, you know, a great imperialist would usually see this as a good thing, I, I don't know. The British Empire only achieved its height under the control of Parliament, and I think these institutions can't be undermined. So sorry, Queen, um, it's not, um, the 1600s anymore. Good, good. And the British people support Parliament. Since the Queen's highly controversial attempted coup against Parliament, the British people have voiced their jubilant support for elected government. I'm, yes, we love democracy here in uh, the British Empire. Well, when it's only us voting and not them. And the Conservative Party of Britain won the election. Or so uh, we have two choices. We can uh, pursue democratic policies or we can pursue a government of strength. It, it doesn't really specify what's going on here, but if we're going to restore the British Empire, something like this might be necessary. See, we can rebuild the army, we can rebuild the, you know, <laughs> we can rebuild the church only to eventually become one with the church and receive ultimate power. Or something, I, I don't know. Maybe summon Cthulhu there in the meantime. Bernie Sanders appointed to committee? I, I really don't know what this shot here is. It looks like he's about to ascend to some higher state of being. I, 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 don't, I don't know. Anyways, it's been fun getting rid of healthcare and whatever, but it's time to sabotage the conservative leadership. They failed to secure our nation against outside threats, of course. A apparently, I, I, I really don't know how, but... Um, this, this is the only way to restore the imperialism that we uh, so desire. Oh, they just put Nigel Farage as the leader. I, 
okay. That's not quite what I was thinking was gonna happen. Uh, okay, um, <laughs> I guess unless that's what they mean by sabotaging the conservative leadership is just putting him in- I, I see what they did there. Anyways, now it's time for- oh. Well, we're doing that now, okay, um. Ah uh, yes, and defections to the Phoenix Front. This is very ideal, yeah. I don't know if they have like an official political ideology here. I, I, I don't think so, but yes, the Phoenix Front is very, um, a very good political party that needs more support. Ah uh, yeah, so now we can choose between Britain first, the Britain Nationalist Party, or instead of that, you know, regular stuff, we, we can do with the Phoenix Front. The British Empire will rise like a phoenix from the ashes. Theresa Brazier, who it, was this? she the same person as that one prime minister that was Brexit lady? I, I don't know. A bewildered political establishment never expected it. Conservative darling Theresa Brazier's radical phoenix front swept away all opposition at the recent elections, and now we are ready to enact major reforms. Still can't go into early mope though, which is very sad. And yes, we're, we're uniting with the corporations, we're becoming one with the business, yes. Uh, we're achieving the ultimate forms of capitalism here soon, we will never be able to be stopped ever again. And now we will also become one with the Church of England too, continuing to grow our power. And we're taking back some rightful imperial territory very close to home, yeah. Oh no, they're, they're actually pushing us out, oh no. Uh. Not like this, uh, our empire is so young, so innocent. Okay, there, phew, we, we landed. Okay, this is, we're fine. Well, yes, ah, uh, we have built a strong Britain. We also tried to invade Spain, but it's impossible. But I, th let's not worry about our shortcomings, because now we will reclaim Normandy. Normandy is rightful land of England, and hence the British state. Those French pests don't deserve such territories under their control, as William the Conqueror once crossed the channel to conquer England. Likewise, shall Brazier cross the channel to reclaim the homeland of William. Yes, France rightfully conquered us all those years ago, and now we return the favor. Oh, I guess that focus just gave us a core on them. It's not like there was any event where they left the Soviets' faction. No, um, I don't know how we're gonna do this. <laughs> but we are the British Empire, after all. Nothing can stop us. We just need some sort of landing ground, like Spain, but... Spain is really strong, actually, yeah. But yes, it's time no more for silly, silly games. Our infantry divisions, our imperial brigades, have been suited with the anti-tank they need to fight the Spanish tanks that pushed us out of Iberia so many winters ago. But this here will be our chance. Our divisions are strong, our will is strong, and we have one, one tank more powerful than any tank ever seen on the face of Europe. So now we will make our difference. You know, invading Spain, it's kind of weird. You would think we would go after Normandy, but no. Yeah, that's a larger problem. Spain is but the first step on rebuilding this empire denied to us. So yes, let's, let's do it. Initially, it's looking good. This here is the main battle, the battle with our two marines. We'll have one Imperial Division enter the airfield here, another support the invasion into this port. This is only a level one naval base, though. It's very important that we take the level six one, and yes, there we go. A success, <laughs> a success worthy of the crown. Yeah. Soon we will have the first British monarch to reign over Iberia, and we will bring over our ultimate weapon, the weapon of their destruction. Uh, and once this arrives, once this arrives, they will have no hope. See, this is the moment that defines empires. We were being pushed out of a port, but being pushed out no more. So one tank makes all the difference. Oh, and an encirclement. An encirclement. It's been decades, nearly a century since the British Empire was able to pull off something of this magnitude. Well, I guess this is just one encirclement. We still have a war to win here. The only issue now is they are on very defensive land. They have mountains on every tile, save two, where there's a city here, a forest here, and I guess some hills up there, but still the line is nearly impenetrable. So we will, just to go around the line and open a new front in the south where they will never expect it. Juan Carlos I will be king for not much longer. 
and two we will claim our trophy from the War of Spanish Succession. Gibraltar, soon, soon. And the distraction in the south gave way for our armies to find more success in the north. A domino effect, one that will soon be mirrored on the beaches of Normandy. Well, this time for a different reason. Because World War II and this timeline still went the same way, of course. It was just the Warsaw Pact that won the Cold War. Ah, see, this is the might of the combined British forces that I've been that I've been trying to build. So we finally, we finally done it. And the Soviets are invading Bernie Sanders America through New England. I, I'm unaware of how this happened. I don't know where the Soviet Union invaded from, unless they just invaded from yeah, probably from Brest. Huh. Well, I guess Bernie Sanders may be an unlikely ally against the Soviet Union. We probably should intervene in this before he falls, though, and who knows how long he can last. But yes, yes, the Spanish throne is now ours. Soon we'll take Portugal, and then we will make our final preparations. And Bernie Sanders is gone. His empire is falling. This is um, not not good in America. Soon the authoritarian communists will seize victory. It's our only chance now to invade Normandy. It, it might even be too late by the time we give the order, but uh, at least we can capitalize on all their divisions being in America for now. And we have done it, my friends. We have retaken Normandy and there's nothing that they can do to push us out. They are too weak. They have lost too many men, uh, especially compared to us. They of course have lots to spare, but still, still, this is quite the victory. We've taken at least two imperial possessions back. Gibraltar and Normandy. Normandy, I guess we haven't owned in a very, very long time, but I think we're doing pretty, pretty decent. Soon Paris will be ours, but I guess uh, it's all in due time. It'll take a while to rebuild things completely, of course, but we've done a decent job, I think. It's been interesting nonetheless, and I have great hopes for where this can go. But yeah, I guess long live the Empire, and hey, hey, if anybody asks, we're still the good guys. Trust me, we're very good. We're very, very, um, very good. It's, we're more good than the average person by long ways. We're always the good guys here on the D Shaky YouTube channel every time. We've never actually played as the bad <laughs>